Let's rock and roll once again. Ah, oh, you're up to date on Richard and Mortimer. Yes. It was, what was this, episode seven? Yeah, I Episode, yeah, I think so. I think episode okay. seven, yeah. Um, the first, I don't know, five episodes I thought were actual garbage. First four. First, what What were the first, what, what episode was the one when he, when he actually... Right, finds episode his five. I know. I thought that was garbage as well. Really? Yeah, I, th- I thought it was garbage. I thought it was like the first four were garbage. It, they were just pure dispensable. If they'd never happened, not, like I just thought it, they, they weren't funny. They, they were forgettable. Ah, they, yeah. they were just nothing. I'm 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 racking my brain right now to think what happened in them. There's a spaghetti episode. Like, oh, oh right, actually that one right that annoys me because that was a couple of good concepts that they just wasted like the Rick and Jerry kind of just brains Google, getting just Google them find out yeah, what, what they won but I the, the, Rick, the Rick and Jerry's like minds getting combined that's kind of interesting I hated that one I just thought that was a pure nothing con- it was a Rick and Jerry episode but mm-hmm. the original Rick and Jerry episode was was just amazing uh, you know what I mean yeah when they make Rick dumb on the <laughs> flight back yeah stuff, exactly uh, yeah. he goes to punch him and he he craps himself uh, ah, Jerry's like a pure dick to him Where's that? This one, it was just they, they were bodies. How, how Poopy got his put back? Yeah, that was the first one. Oh, that was terrible. Um, Hugh Jack, it's actually Hugh Jackman in that yeah, as well, which you like. His voice acting was quite sort of nothingy, like quite yeah. sort of not very emotive. But that's the type of thing where it's direction, isn't I, it? It, it, could, it? You don't know, but I, you, I wouldn't be thinking it's probably a direction. Ah, we're a class actor like Hugh Jackman. It's like I can't imagine he was sitting there going like. No, no, I'm going to say it the way I want to say it. It's like, yeah. no, he's, he's, he's fucking Wolverine on one hand and the greatest showman on the other. It's like, uh, the guy's got range. It's like, a waste as well, because I, I wasn't 100% sure if it was Hugh Jackman or not, which is kind of a waste, because it's like, uh, ah, if well, you're actually paying for Hugh Jackman, like, make yeah, sure yeah. that people know that it's Hugh Jackman. Yeah, yeah, this guy, it's like, it reminds me of that old bit in Jackass when, so this is like 2000 or 2001, Brad Pitt's at like the height of his popularity and they had him for an episode and uh, they put him in a fucking panda suit. Ah, uh, yeah, well, that's kind of the joke, I know. <laughs> and they were like, what, what, what are you doing? Show his face. But uh, what, it's what, kind of like that. It's like, why didn't they have you sing or something? Ah, uh, mate, you're the character. It's his voice you've got. Um, well, they did, they did something similar in Deadpool 2 where they had um, Brad Pitt as the invisible, um, the vanisher or whatever he was called. Oh, I think I recall that. Uh, I didn't see that again. I really like Deadpool 2, actually. Uh, De- Deadpool 2 deserves a second watch. It's not as good as the first, like, from a story I, perspective. I, I agree. Um, but I think there's some funny stuff in it because it, like, makes fun of sequels uh, in some ways, which is what Deadpool kind of should do. Um, aye, the, so it was how Poopy got his put back, the Jeric Trap. What, what was that about? Is the Jeric Trap not that one where the two... Rex watches like, mine. Aye. Yeah, well, they yeah, don't yeah, swap yeah. minds. That's the point. Aye, they it's like don't want kid. They kind of get mixed. Aye, they don't do a parent trap. Oh, uh, not parent trap. A Freaky Friday. It's like a partial Freaky Friday. Aye. And a sort of. Well, I think I think what I found funny was like them sort of arguing over who's more, like, each part. He's like, I'm smarter because I'm more like I've got. Like, I am more Rick. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm, I'm, um, yeah, the weird, but like the weird sort of commentary about like the, the, when they die they become spaghetti and is it ethical and stuff like that that's sort of good Rick and Morty it has those concepts but it's kind of like interesting but this kind of just I don't know it just fell a bit flat I was like there's something I don't know how to explain it I'm like there's something there but they didn't it, it maybe it, it might need another watch right because I must admit I've rewatched season 6 that mm. was probably one of my least favourite series um and I actually feel like compared to this season, season seven, I'm like, oh my god, like this is this is pure glorious. Yeah. Like the return of Story Lord. I was like, it's actually really funny if you watch it again and kinda deconstruct all the fucking meta storytelling. That was the one where uh, aren't there characters that are like writing concepts? Pre- like, previous Leon. Aye, uh, previous Leon. Previ- uh, do you know what? I Rick only just Bond. got that. That's how fucking stupid I am. Uh, I only just got previous Leon. Previous Leon, I thought was hilarious. No, I remember like in that episode actually. Uh, but, um, uh, I think I just had the same problem as it, it could have. 
Canon this was so. Oh, uh, Canon's been thrown over. away. That's that's the big problem. Mm. After but that, that one I do remember enjoying. Uh, but well, I didn't at the time. I, I didn't. I must admit, I've rewatched season six in the end, and I'm like, my God! So you compare it to season seven, and season seven is getting slated. Like he's got the lowest like um, um, critic review. Yeah, it does it. As well as the lowest fan review on like I don't know if it's like Rotten Tomatoes or what. Yeah, but, aye, or Metacritic. Or ah, yeah, exactly. But you know, it normally starts at about eight out of ten, mm-hmm. um, with fans voting it slightly higher, like say nine or ten out of ten. And I'm like, well, that that's just pretty telling into it. Is that is that a guy or something? That that's a woman. Is it a woman? Just the face. Ah, <laughs> oh, she's she's vile. Uh, <laughs> um, I can't, I can't imagine how they're going to bring this to live action. I'm a talking reindeer. Um, <laughs> Fucking Luffy's face just sums it up. Ah, exactly, did he just talk? Um, the pro- but but that, that's the sign, right? If, if one likes it, and they, as in like the critics and the uh, viewer scores, like if one's good and the other's shitty, there's you know there's some sort of wiggle room. Yeah. But like when when both agree that it's pish, like you need to acknowledge, no, this is pish. What are we doing here? Aye. I mean, the it's hard to say what what, what I think of the is it one voice actor doing Rick and Morty still? No. No. It's, it's I would, I would have thought because yeah, the Morty's voice is really getting on me. Rick's voice, I could kind of. I can live with it, but Morty's voice is, like, not right. And weirdly, actually, the last episode that, open your mind, actually, I kind of... Sounded more Morty. Yeah, it sounded you know. more Morty, even though it was meant to be, like, a pure baby version of Morty. I was yeah. like, oh, right. the, the The big problem is, it's the comedic timing and the sort of delivery. Uh, the, the actual, I mean, I, I reckon... The voices sound similar to the point. I reckon some people wouldn't even notice that they changed. Mm. But maybe maybe I'm being generous there. But I honestly think that they sound the same. But yeah, the way... So I don't know if my problem is like the voice actors. Or again, the direction. Because if the comedic time is way off. I feel like they say too much. Mm. In a lot of cases as well. It's like it's like the pure rushing. Trying to get too many... Uh, words in uh, it's almost exactly, like an yeah. overcorrection because you know like some people weren't crazy early on when they used to like stutter ah uh, yeah like, Morty Morty you gotta help me out like some people don't really like that Morty I, I gotta yeah I, I, I gotta I gotta do the thing ah uh, exactly oh, it's like, Rick. like yeah like I think some people didn't like that so like they've overcorrected and now they talk too fast ah like. uh, they're trying to cram in too many words and it doesn't says says us two Scottish people who don't Scottish people are we like the fastest uh, English speakers <laughs> on average or something like that but um uh, but, but yeah it's I, I, it's like just trying to add in too many words because Rick's smart so he should be saying big it's, words it, it's it's weird as well because he's, he, he's rarely doing like his whole well he's not I don't I don't recall a single time he's done his belch um, I think he did actually at, right at the start of this one he, did, he was maybe he did a single belt ah, I'm sure cause I'm sure he was meant to be drunk and he's like what are you go get me a, you want like a hamburger or something <laughs> like that I'm sure he did just, but yeah that I know, maybe they're like oh we're, we're trying to like phase that out and okay fine but I don't know it was part of like what made the character in my opinion yeah well Let's apparently see. Justin Roiland could do it just on command Ah, yeah. Well. Actually, oh no, no. Well, the story I had heard was that Justin Roiland couldn't. It was um, who's the who's the woman that voices uh, Beth? Have you got your phone? You tell me. Oh, right. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting on Google right now. Um, I, I know who it is. It's the Bird Birdface Scrubs. Yeah, actually, yeah. Yeah. Which is weird, I guess. I mean, I actually think she's brilliant in it. Yeah, I do, and I didn't. I, I hate Sarah Shock. I, I was I was never a fan of her when she was on Scrubs. I just I wasn't that into Scrubs. In general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scrubs was one of those things. If you were channel surfing and there was nothing else on, I was ah uh, you would watch it. But I uh, um, for me anyway, I know some people like it. Um, I couldn't stand her in How I Met Your Mother. She was a pain in that. I didn't know she was in How I Met Your Mother. Was she a she, main character? Or was she for a while? Yeah, she oh, she okay. almost married um, the main guy. 
All right. But then she she patches them at the altar on the wedding day. All right. Okay. All right. She's okay. Um, I said I said I chalk. Um, yeah, no. And the story I'd heard was that she can belch like just on command. All right. Oh. And and Justin Roiland was like jealous of that fact because they usually like, oh that'd be so because apparently he had to kind of have some fizzy drinks on hand. Yeah, exactly. To help to like, yeah. But I, yeah, who knows? Maybe that's just. Alex, but it's just a story I heard. Okay. Yeah, I, I never heard that. Interesting. Alright, so what was what came after it? Yeah, alright, so, so after. After Jerry Trap, right, which I thought yeah. was. But see, when I say okay, I mean like five. Again, you're, you're, you're judging it on a, like a, a, a curve. Yeah. So if it were in a different series, I'd probably not even be mentioning it. But yeah. in a series, I was like, oh, pretty good by comparison. Uh, Air Force Wong was the next one. Oh, you know, like with the is that episode? That was that's that's the one that has like offended me so far. Number one, because he's actually at the therapist and he's like, oh, it's character growth, and you're like, I don't know. The next step could have been he's there, but he's like in I don't know, like in disguise, or he's doing it without he's going to therapy without going to therapy. Uh, if that makes some kind of sense. Like he's kind of trying to have his cake and eat it too. Yeah. Whereas he was just there, and like, what was it she said to him? Like, oh, don't use holograms. So he was like, I'm sorry. Like, what the fuck? Like, uh, he apologizes to Wong. It's like, shut up. That just pure Rick, reeks Rick's of the lost whole. His balls exactly. That just reeks of the whole political agenda shit, where it's like, Rick has to have some pure self-flagellating apology to strong, independent women. Yeah. Or, Ah right, well, Wong gets with the president as well, so it, it's it further sort of suggests that to be a fact. Yeah. Um, yeah, Rick was barely in it. Was Morty in it at all? No, I don't think so. He either wasn't in it at all, or he was in like the, the last scene, just like oh, Junior Rick, just for like sake of <laughs> ah. so so that he appears. And there was an episode that um, Justin Roiland said was one of his like least favorites because of that sort of same fact. Did he not? Is that it was missing Morty? I think so it's Vindicators. I fucking um, no, nah, Vindicators. Like, that's Vindi- a Vindi- more. What, is there a Vindicators in Vindicators Three? Well, Vindicators Three. The whole point is it's uh, Vindicators Three is. Um, is that the first one you show up in? Ah, you've never seen. You've never seen the original Vindicators. Right, aye, that's what I thought. But I, yeah, he said that was his what? least favorite episode. Not because he didn't think it was funny or anything, but it because Morty, kind of like two thirds of the way through it, it sort of has done his bit. Uh, so he's just kind of there for the last kind of like third. Yeah. That was why he said he didn't like it. Um, which I mean, yeah, kind of, but I, I, just, I thought it was hilarious. I love the like the final test where yeah. <laughs> Rick's just like steaming and he's like, I don't know, just shoots some three pointers. Like, <laughs> yeah. a basketball hoop. Ah, and all the Vindicators are killing each other. He's really, really not. And, and then they go, what's your call? It's like, oh, you're responsible for all these deaths. He's like, well, okay, maybe like the crocodile, but definitely not the train guy. And he's like yeah. that. <laughs> it's like all of them. Ah, and it's like, oh, I have to meet like, what is it? I have to meet like uh, a comet lady, uh, a whole alligator and three assholes or something. Yeah. It's like, just fucking like, I. Uh, that's uh, classic written Rick and Morty adventure. Yeah, again, that sets the standard if that's the worst one. Um, ah, in his opinion, yeah, say, in my were, opinion, it's good. Ah, it's, um, it's not the worst one, but. Ah, Air Force One, I just thought was bad. Yeah. It's, again, again, not the worst idea. It, like, the, the setup for the episode with, um, uh, what's her name? Wong, uh, or. No, not Wong, the. Um, Hive mind thing. Oh, Unity. Unity, yeah. Oh, considering, like, if you rewatch. Uh, you, no, you're not right, the you're worst right. idea, but again, it didn't do anything sort of. Well, considering how emotional the, that Unity episode is, you know, mm. he practically kills himself, he's so upset about it. Yeah. To come back to, you know, Unity and it's just like, ah, oh, you know, I'm healthy now, you know, it's like, whatever. It's like, fuck you, I'm the same man, I was offended yeah, by that. Seen... Offended by that episode. Yeah. Uh, I, I thought it was fish. Um, plus, it kind of maybe I'm overthinking it here a wee bit, but you know, like they came up with the gun that like frees you from unity. Uh huh. That sort of took away from 
like her power in a way <laughs> and it kind of it kind of made it a bit of a thing of like did she I don't know this is what I'm saying I'm probably thinking that but now I'm like did she actually like not take over Rick's mind on purpose because she didn't want to or did he do some science do that to like make him immune, uh, immune anyway I don't um, know man I, I don't I, know I, 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 it's well like when the mid face hugger gets him he's probably not immune to unity but um like from a mental strength standpoint, maybe. Yeah. So what after what happens after that shitty unity one? Oh, I said that, that one was, that was painful. That ah, that's the spaghetti episode. Yeah, that's okay. I I I see. I've combined that in my head with the Jeric trap. I thought. Uh, I thought that happened in the same episode, but not. Uh, um, yeah, I'm, that's a morte. But, um, that, aye, so there you go. So the fact that that's a morte is all in the one episode. No, I, I, I did combine them in my head. Aye, uh, and, and I, I despise it. It thinks it's cleverer than what it is. Because yeah, it's, that, it's that trying to do too much. It's trying to, like, talk about, you know, the meat industry and... Yeah, that's what I'm saying, um, like, because they have to, like, kill themselves and Yeah, exa- like exactly. And, you know, voluntary suicide and... Um, yeah, that, that's that's what I think annoyed me. Like, like you said, it thinks it's cleverer than it is. Um, and it just sort of didn't... Who's trying to run away? Not a bad idea, but was neither like sort of. It wasn't funny. Nothing yeah, in that was funny, right? Funny. I think. Who can say, right? But you know what I think might have been funny? You know that one episode of The Simpsons with Frank Grimes? Yes. With the pure, really, really mean spirited ending <laughs> where he just gets electrified and uh, dies. Yeah. Like, that's so unlike The Simpsons. I... that it's kind of memorable and it's hilarious because it's sort of if every episode were like that you'd be like what is this but Aye. every just once in a while it's so mean spirited that you're like it, it's kind of unexpected and funny maybe Aye. they could have done something like that where like the ending is just so so mean spirited like there could have been like a funny twist that way yeah was, again let's say I, I feel it was just conceptually too bloated mm. You know, if you want to go after the kind of the meat industry, fine. If you want to make some point, and, and it was like, what? What is your point about assisted suicide? And it was just like at the end, oh, of it was just, just goes, sort of like it's a thing. Yeah, exactly. Then, really... It's like I don't care. It wasn't a clever twist on the idea. You know, like with, with some of the previous episodes where the the you know, I just sort of almost futurize it up a bit, and it's it's the same with the the most recent episode, which we'll get to. I want to understand why you don't like the face-off against his nemesis. The next episode, episode five. Aye. Uh, well, I've, I've a lot to say about that. Because I love that episode. Is this level midway through? Or? Ah, about midway through, aye. Uh. Ah, okay, I'll just uh, I'll just go now. Uh, I, need to, I need to get back and save one of my characters before he runs away like a bitch. The, the titles are just so annoying, so I'll look at the title and I can't remember. On, on more Rickon. Ah, uh, Unforgiven, is that what I think? Yeah, ah, well, not, none of the titles really mean anything, do they? Yeah, I'm just trying to think. They're just going to run away somebody. That the, yeah, that's that's the revenge one. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah I hated that one. <laughs> I, I don't know where to start. First of all, Evil Mortar just kind of uh, is back. Okay. I don't know if I'm dumb, but what is... So I thought he was outside of yes he was their He's... multiverse now yes but he can just sort of come back yeah I don't know That's about... <laughs> ah, ah, he came back yeah effortlessly that rift that got fixed by the dinosaurs none of that matters and all that it's ah, he just he can come back whenever he wants but Rick can't leave his universe with a regular green portal so yeah that I was kind of just like right I, I feel, Evil Mortar coming back should have been something that should be like built up and you're like oh this way it's more unexpected yeah but being unexpected doesn't instantly make you good no one expected the final season of Game of Thrones to be how it was ah well, exactly shit. ah exactly and and that this definitely suffers from that I definitely agree with you there where it's like it's, it's all it blows its load and like 20 minutes yeah it's just like there's there's absolutely no build up it's just like that boom uh, he's dead reveal reveal yeah, reveal yeah yeah just um, no time to breathe uh-huh. so pa- pacing wise no I definitely I, I would never defend that it is 
you know, badly paced because it definitely is. Aye. It just feels rushed and. Um, it's. I feel like there, there was always like cool action scenes in Rick and Morty. Really? Like, um, I mean, what's your thoughts on you know the one? I think it's Pickle Rick, is it not? When he he kills the. Oh, I love that. Yeah. He kills the like the rat and then he makes like the exoskeleton out <laughs> yeah. of like a rat and like, yeah. everything. I think that's like I thought that was amazing and the actual like, action scenes and stuff that they have I thought were awesome Aye. so like the action choreography in this episode I actually thought was pretty cool uh, pretty cool in spots but again like if you don't really I'm sort of like oh wait is this I, I, I was expecting it to be like the other oh no this isn't that this is just another ah, decoy, it's another of decoy of his yeah. or a clo- so like when it actually I was kind of is that it is that like one episode when they, they get him and like not I don't I don't mean it should have been like a, a three episode long fight like in Dragon Ball or something but I just mean like a little bit of build up wouldn't have hurt. Evil Morty a I don't think should have been involved in that part of the story at all but if he was it should have been like an episode with Evil Morty and then the next episode they could do that nah. with, with like the I don't know what, I don't want to call him Evil Rick but no what Rick, 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 Prime, Rick Prime I think is what's aye. Um, Sometimes what he's referred to as. Aye, what, what else did I not like about? Yeah, I don't really. So, they glazed over how Evil Morty became Evil Morty. I, oh, aye. What? In, in what? A, a scene? Exactly. Was it 30 seconds? Yeah, they, they just. Uh, what a reveal. And they kind of suggest that um, he's got something to do with, like, our C137 Rick. Yeah, didn't they. Didn't they... One no, 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 I th- no, I think we've got it the wrong way around. I think our mo- so our Morty is Rick Prime's actual yes. grandson. Yes. Right, yes. Whereas, so our Rick is Rick C-137. Well, uh, ah, okay, probably not then. He's probably not Rick's... Rick Prime is probably Rick C-137 and he's whatever Rick he comes from. Unless they're associating the wrong Morty, if you know what I mean. So if they've... Ca- if they categorize no, they've probably categorized C one thirty seven correct, but they've his Morty isn't the the Morty it isn't his Morty put it that way, um, uh, which we know. Well, wait, but that but see the thing is, is again it's as if like they had a plan, but then with the new writers or whatever they just chucked. Yeah, yeah, ah, well clearly they have that. In flashbacks, uh, there's I forget what episode it is, but there's a scene where you see. Rick having a flashback to Baby Morty. Yes, exactly. Which doesn't but, make sense. Yeah, but in in like Morty's our Morty's original universe Beth points out that they haven't seen Rick at all uh, right? they, they, uh, Rick was, was away for however long so he was away he wouldn't have seen the birth of, he wasn't around for the birth of Morty basically yep so those are so that's a different Morty which, right. which kind of would have led you to think that evil Morty is his Morty or is some kind of connection yeah which which maybe it is, but like, he, but yeah. So it certainly didn't. He, he it killed, didn't seem it. He yeah, killed he, his Rick. He killed his his Rick. And why is why is he as smart as? Yeah, why is he as smart as a Rick? Is it simply just the case? Well, what they seem to be getting at is just infinite universes is going to happen eventually. Right, cool. But why is he? Why is he? Then they tried to make it that like he's smarter than. Well, maybe not smarter, but like. Well, yeah, no, I'm gonna say smarter. Yeah. Because like he just pure cash goes like, oh, do the causality carry the one? Correction, whatever. exactly. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's like, right. it's like, yeah, I was, I was gonna. Ah, and again, that just gonna. seems like a pure. Oh, we have we have to deflate Rick's ego type of writing. You know, you get writers that always want to do that. They're like, want to leave their their stamp on the series and. It's, Usually it's a negative oh. one rather than a positive one because yeah. right, writers that hate what they're working on. It's like why are you working on this? Yeah, but it seems like Evil Morty had nothing to do with our Rick, and it's like well, why yeah, did you all. why did you hack his portal gun? Why did you frame him? I mean, was it oh, was for, it yeah, just to he, get him? Because he framed him specifically. Yeah. Rather than just framing a Rick. Yeah. And yeah, he, he, I does, thought of that. he needs him because he and I, mean, I can get it maybe he just hates that Rick because he's the Rick that built the um what should I call it oh I'll the, throw it up what, on the screen. Citadel or? no yeah well he built the Citadel but he built basically the, the universe they live in the central finite curve 
Oh, right, okay. Which is basically just a fixed number of infinite universes that are built around Rex. Uh huh. So, so it's all it's basically all universes where Rex the smartest man in the universe. But more he's basically like, no no, if there's infinite universes there'll be universes where like some other guy's the smartest in the universe or Yeah, so it's almost as if like he's fenced off the yeah, universes. That's that, exactly what he's done. Yeah. yeah. So is that what's happened with Evil Morty basically got outside the fence yes so right. to speak right yeah, okay. so he, he can access all the universes where so he can access Rick, like true infinity yes I guess you could uh, exactly mm-hmm. whereas Rick intentionally built the fence so that he was the smartest in the universe so all of the universe would be surrounded by him mm-hmm. um, okay well but, I guess I can kind of see why it was uh, specifically but but aye, so, you, so, aye, so you're, you're right, Evil Morty kind of, how does he get back? He kind of just sort of goes, ah, oh, I'm coming back. And it's like, right, I've got cool. a portal, I've got a super portal gun. But then he beats him dead easy. It felt to me, he beat Evil Rick quite easily. Well, that's what I, I mean, know Evil Morty helps, but... Yeah, that, that's what I mean, I, as well. Is that, that's why I expected there to be another twist where, like, this... Oh, God, yeah, this was just another... Um, I actually, just another decoy, I actually thought exactly that. See, I thought when he beats him up, like a wee hatch would open up and he'd be like a really, like Ant-Man, he'd be like a really small version of himself Yeah. and he would become large and he'd be like that. Oh, like, you know, last decoy or whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah, there'd, there'd be some sort of, but no, nah, just, just... Yeah, no, he's dead. And again, it'll be like... No satisfaction, he's just, he's dead. And I, I know that they're saying like, oh, but the point is that revenge is never the answer and like he won't feel satisfied even when he gets revenge it's like yeah, yeah cool but, but it's just that still doesn't mean that you executed it well yeah exactly it, yeah it just it just didn't have the build up it didn't have the delivery or anything and it's like well that's him beating now and, and it's kind of like in Superman uh, Man of Steel when he uh-huh. when he kills Zod, just sort of like, but well, this is an emotional moment. But like, two minutes later in the movie, he's like fucking, you know, cracking jokes and pure knocking yeah. out satellites. You're like, d- 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 do you regret? Do, yeah, yeah, like, do you regret killing another human? Well, not human, another Kryptonian. Like, yeah. yeah, like Rick, Rick. By the next episode, is kind of fine. So it's like, all right, you know. Well, I thought the the next episode. Um, I actually found funny. It's the only one I would say like I found really funny. Um, it's a wee bit kind of like it was kind of like this this season's episode of like interdimensional cable in a way because there was a lot of because you know they were looking through Morty's memories because he has like all the coupons for. Adventures. Oh, I, you know, I actually did quite like that one. You're right. Aye, it's the mirror. It's like what, the man. What's leg? The day? mirror bridge. A leg, Morty. <laughs> yeah. A leg. Um, that doesn't count as an adventure. Aye, audits. Aye, it's what it, he's, <laughs> he's auditing all his sort of claimed adventure cards. Aye, no, actually that one was really good. And then the mad rock people and they they start like yeah. turning the mirror on them, and he's like. One of them's cheated on the other one's wife, and it's like, yeah, but they're rocks, and it's yeah. like the premise is the premise is funny. <laughs> it's like it's fucking dumb, but I right, whatever. Um, I know so that, you're right. I did kind of enjoy that. That was like, uh, like you say, that was probably their version of interdimensional cable. So, hmm. I right, that was quite entertaining. But I right, like, like I say the most recent one was Summer, and the open your mind. I, I wasn't a fan of. I thought it was fine. I feel like it was maybe, but, they, but even then I felt like they were like, "Oh, we need a summer episode," and like I, I'm fine with that. But it shouldn't be. It should be because they've got a good idea, not because yeah. not because we need a summer episode. I mean, I like the thing me that they that he builds her, the, like the the attributes. Yeah, the yeah, attributes. Yeah, like that, that's a fun r- like Rick and Morty idea. Yeah. And I, I, I even says that I'm like, oh, I thought that was gonna be the whole episode. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I was like, no, I'm glad it wasn't. I liked, I liked it because it reminds me of Fallout Four. Um, but I, it's, I, as soon as they were merged, I was like, oh, what is this? Yeah, I'm like, are we merging again? I mean, not, well, already... exactly. You've already merged this sort this of season. season? Um... It's kind of a what, what was it? Um, when he's talking about the clones, I think he said, I think he has this conversation with um, with Beth. He's like. 
you know, 70% 70 of sci-fi is clones, Beth. Yeah. You know, you can't, you can't own clones, yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, but then it became like a sort of taken parody like uh, towards the end. And but it, again, it's like continu why? and continued the incompetent theme as well because it's like Rick goes to kick one of the doors down and he yeah, like... Yeah, and he hurts his foot. Oh, my ankle! It was like, what? So Summer, didn't, didn't Summer do it? Yeah, Summer breaks yeah, him down. That, like, that was in there for no other reason. Like, it wasn't funny. Oh, it was kind of funny. Well, maybe, uh, maybe some people could find it funny. I, I didn't find it funny, but... Uh, but it's, it's certainly uh, wasn't, it, uh, wasn't it anything that was going to It's just one of those ones where you're like, it just uh, it raises too many questions because you're like, right, so does he have all these mechanical enhancements or not? I <laughs> uh, will. I guess when he wants to, or uh, it's, yeah. it's 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 uh, yeah, it, it's like you say, it's there's no because there's no continuity and nothing matters. Just sort of like, who gives a shit? You know what I mean? Mm. Stop caring around about season five because of this. How can you enjoy it if it's nothing matters? Right. And I get that was his whole deal is nothing matters and he's a pure nihilistic, but no, at least they protected the kind of central story. But I uh, yeah, but it was like he was. They were. It was our Rick and our Morty. Ah, uh, exactly. Else. Yeah. Kind of like you have your cat or your dog. Yeah. Um, I I don't know. So like, what happened to them? Did not like yeah. There's infinite other ones, but we don't want those ones. We want we want these ones. Ah, we won't follow along if it's. The canon doesn't matter. Then you want it. Who cares then? Ah, but the problem is you've got 30 more episodes. No, ah, 20, 23 more episodes. And they're talking about a movie as well. So it feels now like it's like they've ran out of ideas. Like it is pure 90% padding. And you might get one episode a season that's the kind of the story. And the problem is, like, at least, that again, at least tease it. At least have it as the, fine, you know, the season finale. Like, they didn't do, like, most seasons, they didn't have, like, you know... Um, you know, season five, it's the new season, you know, yeah. it's kind of like celebrating it. it. There's none of that. It's just, we do our own thing now, we do what we want, you know, like, right, fine, but, you know. I'm probably giving the writers too much credit here, but maybe the fact that maybe episode six being the funny one is like on purpose, because if that's him, maybe he's like overcompensating, he's trying way too hard to be happy and funny and stuff. Okay. Because he's messed up from the end of episode five. But, like I said, I'm probably giving them way too much credit there. I think you are, because I think, strategically speaking, right, if you're... And, and I, it was... Like, see when Still Game was away for, like, ten years, or whatever, yeah. and you came back, I was like that. I was like that to Amanda. This episode has to be amazing, it has to be funny, mm -hmm. because otherwise, you'll just pure slate it. And I said, what you, what, the, what you can then do is, have an emotional episode as the second one, mm -hmm. and it's like, yeah, you win the shit munchers round, you literally throw out quality funny episode as many jokes as you can physically get in it and then you've kind of got the grace you've almost banged mm. a bit of goodwill you can put in you know put in a few like coaster episodes a few fillers Aye. a few kind of half-baked ideas you know nothing wrong with that hell what I've noticed the big difference in is see the post like creds mm. the post creds are so shit now and I mean I've seen all the comments from the um like I suppose the press releases talking about oh Justin Roiland he hadn't been doing anything you know he would just come in read his lines go home he hadn't been in the writers room for like five years and all this mm -hmm. and you're kind of like nah I don't believe that I think he did most of the either cold openings or most of the post creds mm -hmm. like because they, they all just had like a certain theme to them in fact one of my favourite ones is in the last season where you mind the the decoys mm -hmm. like it's Jerry as the mad like um, like puppet like the wooden one mm -hmm. and then he gets killed by the well not quite killed but he gets captured by the beavers and then the beavers make him into a dam they sort of dig him out but then he like it's like the passage of time he's like found like by these explorers mm -hmm. and then he gets made into a mirror and then he gets turned into a cross and he's like that, why can't I die? Yes, I do remember <laughs> like, that. Actually. Christianity yeah. again? After cowboys? <laughs> I was like, this is just so fucking, like, just so, I do so that, good. Yeah. Um, but none of, I, I would say none of them, not a single episode this season has had The only good... one I remember, I remember for being, I, I didn't even get it. 
like there was a new father in a family of like aliens. Oh yeah, but, aye. It was because I didn't, um, get it, I didn't get it. It was meant to be Uncle, um, whoever the time stop guy is, uh, is related to Rick, and then his wife starts having the adventure that Rick does, going after Rick Prime. But then she kind yeah. of abandons it and finds yeah, yeah, a new the husband. Guy, the guy, yeah, the guy, because um, Rick Prime was doing the like ultra deletion. Nah, where well, it kills every, every exactly one of them that. from every the Omega device or whatever uh, which again feels so lazily named mm. the Omega weapon which wipes out every version of a person from well again from the central finite universes uh, I suppose probably could you have done what Morty did and it's just escape and find a random Diane in one of the infinite infinite universes mm. I don't know I suspect maybe but who knows who knows 